Hello, we are here with Remy Bonjanski. He doesn't need no introductions. Hello. Uh, good to be here. Uh, I want to ask you, how is your retirement? Because you are more busy than ever. I'm very busy. I'm very busy right now. The, the retirement feels good. I mean, um, I've done it for 20 years yes. and I put an end to it. And now we have a lot of uh, different projects on TV. I'm coaching my guys, training them, doing a lot of seminars. Oh, you still continue the seminars, of course? Yeah, I still continue the seminars. So, a lot of things are coming up. I'm going to open up my second gym this year. So, i got a lot to do. you got a lot to do. My second question is, uh, can you tell us more about the Bonjanski Academy? Because I've seen you, of course, in uh, Daniel Ilunga's corner. Mm -hmm. uh, Glory versus Andre Stoika. Mm -hmm. And uh, can you tell us more about the Bonjanski Academy? Well, the Bonjanski Academy is, uh, we opened up in 2010. And it's... It feels so great to to see all those guys uh, coming coming up, and we have a lot of talent over there, and we're working on it. And I think we're doing a good job. Uh, you can see it uh, with Daniel Ilunga. Yes, he's he's training real hard, and he's he's shown he's showing his best skills in the ring. Last time he knocked out uh, Stoika, and uh, we were very happy uh, to to make a great knockout and. He's, he's moving up. The, the only thing is now to, to fight against the champion. That was my next question. Uh, is Ilunga ready for Saki? Because the fans are dying to see Ilunga versus Saki in the ring. Well, I think the whole world, the whole world and even the, the greatest fans are, are waiting for that match. Yes. And me, myself, is also waiting for that match. I think uh, Daniel and, and Saki will make a fantastic fight, a Definitely. fantastic uh, uh, fight during, during this event. So. I'm hoping it will happen soon uh, because um, I believe Saki is ready, and we're gonna we're gonna make uh, gonna Daniel make also uh, also ready for this fight because it's gonna be a great match. Yes, yeah. definitely. Uh, my next question is uh, it's a personal question. Uh, I want to know how do you feel not to be in the ring but in the corner because now it's two different rules. Uh, uh, first of all, the fans are very happy to see you at events, mm -hmm. so we are really very happy to see you. Uh, on well, uh, being in the ring feels completely different because if you are inside of the ring you're inside the fight but uh, standing next to the ring it feels the same way maybe even maybe it's even worse I mean uh, when you're standing there next to the ring coaching your fighter it's it feels like when he's fighting and he's not doing what you're saying you feel so helpless you don't have control, don't have, uh, control you feel helpless so that's why I think sometimes I've heard you will be the new uh, commentary for glory yeah, uh, on the 21st of June, I'm going to do... Uh, That's going to be your first... Uh, it's going to be my first one. I've, and is it for I, RTL 7 or for Eurosport? Uh, RTL, RTL 7. RTL 7, Yeah, okay. we, we're going to work on it. I mean, uh, the 21st of June, I'm going to have my debut as a commentary for Spike TV and Glory. So I have to go to the States to, to Oh, you have comments. to be there to do it live? I have to be there to do it live. Oh, you're going to be there live, okay. Yeah, and it's it's going to be great. I'm, I'm happy that Glory gives me the opportunity yes. to, to do it. And I've done it for uh, it's showtime also, and uh, now I'm gonna do it for Spike TV and Glory. So okay. I'm very happy to do it. And we are very happy with you, Remy Boyanski. You are thank a, you very much. A legend and Us, I want to thank Us. you for the interview. Can I give you a hug? Of course, of course, <laughs> big hug. Oh, thank you. Okay, Us. thank you. You're welcome. Us.